Welcome back to Brightside. WNBA star Brittany Griner will be back in a Russian courtroom today for the third day of her trial. Yeah, she pleaded guilty to drug possession and smuggling charges last week. The WNBA star was arrested back in February at Moscow International Airport after vape cartridges were found in her luggage. They contained hashish oil, which, by the way, is illegal in the country. Griner now faces up to 10 years in prison. Some experts say Griner's guilty plea could give her a better chance of returning home, especially since Russia's conviction rate is at a staggering 97 percent. So after the verdict is officially made, Griner can either appeal for a presidential pardon from Vladimir Putin or the U.S. and Russia can negotiate a prisoner exchange. Here's a sharper insight from a political science professor at the University of Tampa into how hostage diplomacy works. Hostage diplomacy is basically where you arrest someone under the guise of, you know, seeking a legal remedy for a supposed illegal action, but where really you're translating it into a foreign policy decision, you know, thing for leverage in the future. And she's turned into a bargaining chip. So prisoner swaps have been happening between Russia and the U.S. since the infamous exchange that happened on the Bridge of Spies during the Cold War. Back in 2010, the U.S. exchanged 10 Russian sleeper agents for four American spies. And earlier this year, American Trevor Reed was swapped for Russian Konstantin Yaroshenko. In Greiner's case, Russia could use this opportunity to ask for the release of Viktor Bout, a Russian arms dealer known as the Merchant of Death.